Hi there, this is Nikki Rowland for UK Scrap Addicts and this month our theme was to use tags on our layout. So I was actually away on holiday while I was doing this layout. I always take some scrapbooking stuff with me um, and uh, I was pretty limited as to what I had. Um, so I went through my stash that I had. I had one pouch of embellishments uh, that I call my use it or lose it um, pouch um, and I went through there to see what um, tags I had in there if any um, and I found four Maggie Holmes um, ephemera, tags from an ephemera pack an older Maggie Holmes uh, ephemera pack so I pulled those out um, but they all together didn't look that great um, so what I did was I found a cut apart sheet from the Dear Lizzie Stay Colourful collection and that had lots of different tags on it and um, uh, cut apart pieces so some journaling cards some tags some banner tags that you can see there um, and um, I decided that I was going to still try to use some of those Maggie Holmes ones that I had pulled out um, and tuck them behind the colours actually went well it was um, the patterns that weren't ideal for the type of layout I was aiming for so um, so yeah but you can see that I've managed to tuck some of those in I'm using that one there as a photo mount for my photo um, and um, I'm just trying to use up as much as I can really um, what I'm doing now is going through and poking holes in uh, the top of the tags um, I don't have a hole punch with me on holiday so I'm improvising with a pair of scissors it looks a little bit messy but um, I managed just about to make it look okay um, and because I've tied it through with thread that kind of thing doesn't matter that much either um, so each one I'm just cutting out the hole and I'm going through and tying thread uh, through each of these holes um, I'm using a pink waxed thread um, and I'm wrapping it around the top of the tag several times and securing on the back with a piece of tape um, I just I like these kind of spirals rather than the long pieces that stick out of the top of a tag normally um, I don't li like those as much they haven't got anywhere to go um, so I prefer it if my ends are nicely um, spiraled round and tucked behind my tag so so now that all of my tags have got um, twine through them or thread, um, I'm now just going to get everything stuck in place and arranged nicely onto my layout. Um, so you can see what I'm doing there is I'm applying some tape to the bottom part of the tag and I'm going to apply sticky fixes or foam pads uh, to the top layer top edges of my tags um, just so that my spirals of thread remain nicely spiraled rather than squashed um, and um, it gives my layout some dimension I do love a bit of dimension on my layouts so uh, yeah just like to continue to make sure that I've got lots of dimension different levels um, gives it a bit of depth and interest um, so uh, so yeah so that's what I'm doing just arranging everything in place getting all those cards in place um, we are as a snapshot sorry that's a snapchat shot of me and my daughter and we've got unicorns on us so uh, um, obviously what better collection to use than the dear Lizzie stay colorful collection with lots of unicorns and mermaids and whimsical things um, absolutely love it um, so I found this chipboard title it's on one of the dear Lizzie sticker sheets thick as chipboard title one um, and it says I believe in unicorns so an absolutely ideal title for this layout um, and um, I wanted to um, use some of the flowers from my background sheet actually so the uh, border around my layout is one of those floral sheets and I've taken the middle out of the layout oh, sorry of the background sheet um, and that's left me with a piece of um, kind of 10 by 10 paper of that same pattern that's going spare so I'm just fussy cutting out some some flowers from there and uh, I just want to tuck them in to various places um, just to give it a bit more extra um, embellishment and some you know they're quite they're fair, some of the flowers are fairly large and that gives me a base to house some embellishments there so that's what I've done that's why I fussy cut some of those out and the whole layout is a bit whimsical and fun so flowers are fair game um, and uh, as are you know unicorns hearts flowers uh, mermaids you know anything like that will all go on this layout out. it's uh, not a problem literally I can throw anything at this layout and it will look great um, so uh, so that's what I'm doing now just going through 
Seeing what else I can add, so it's a butterfly there, I've added a butterfly as well, and a unicorn. They're from the uh, layered stickers set. I've also got the normal 12 by 12 cardstock stickers, so I'm adding a few of those, and some bits and pieces from the chipboard sheet too, uh, the hearts and, uh, and things. Um, so I'm just, you know, adding some clusters there. So I've got one either side of my title and one at the top, um, and I'm just, the one at the top I'm keeping small, um, and then I want to extend that cluster um, down the bottom underneath the title as well so that's why I've just added that little heart um, under the unicorn there in the title. I'm going to extend that further by um, using some splatters of ink um, and, uh, and now I'm going to extend it even more by adding sequins, my favourite thing in the world to add to layouts. Um, so I'm just getting all of those um, stuck in place there and you can see that I have that big vertical, sorry, big horizontal strip across the page, which is my main cluster. And then I have my little bits, uh, my, you know, little spray of sequins going in a vertical line. Um, they're going all the way down. I've added my journaling just to the right of my photo. Um, and that's it. I'm going to call that done. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. This is actually my last video and blog post for UK Scrap Addicts. Um, I'm um, expecting a baby in August, so I'm reducing my DT commitments a little bit and this is one um, that I'm going to resign from for now but it's been an absolute pleasure I've really enjoyed being on the team and we have such an amazing new team now I know that we'll have such great inspiration coming forwards so thank you again for watching that was Nikki Rowland for UK Scrap Addict